Here we have two young racers, Ashan in the red car and Zion in the green car. We also have a high-speed camera that's taking a picture every tenth of a second, thus recording the position as a function of time. One can see that the cars are behaving quite differently. Zion's car is covering the same amount of distance for every tenth of a second. This indicates that Zion is going at constant velocity because the rate is staying the same. Now, Ashan's car is behaving quite differently. Ashan, in the beginning, is only covering a little bit of distance, but then he starts speeding up and covering more distance in each tenth of a second. This, this increase in, in distance covered indicates that Ashan is speeding up, which indicates that he has acceleration, and acceleration greater than zero. Now let's look at the position time graphs. Maybe not quite so big. And let's put time on the x-axis and position indicated by an x on the y-axis. And let's give some tick marks for the time segment. So this would be point 1, point 2, and point 3, and then some equally spaced uh, tick marks on the position axis. Now, for Zion, he's covering the same amount of distance every time. So then we do it like this, and at point 3, he'll be over here. This gives us a straight line. Straight line has a constant slope, that is the slope is not changing, and since the slope of a position time graph is velocity, that tells us that the velocity is constant. Good, all makes sense. Now for Ashan, in the first tenth of a second he's barely moved, and then after 0.2 seconds he's still behind Zion, at point three, he's caught up, and then one imagines at point four, he's far ahead of Zion. This gives a curve, and the curve, I'll keep it going a little, the curve of the graph indicates that he has acceleration, because the slope is not constant, therefore the velocity is not constant, and since the curve is upward, we know that it's a positive acceleration. If it was curving downward, it would be a negative acceleration. Well, we might also ask the question, who is going faster at 0.3 seconds? Well, the answer is probably obvious, because you can see that here, Ashan has covered much more distance than here. So in the previous tenth of a second, Ashan has gone farther than Zion, therefore he must be going faster. To be specific, his average velocity was faster, but since he's speeding up, clearly his final velocity has to be uh, the larger as well. So a more interesting question, oh, so let's write down our answer here, Ashan. The, a more interesting question is, who's going faster at 0.2 seconds? Now this one's a real thinker. In order to answer it, we need to draw the velocity time graph. So I'll put velocity here on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. Well, Zion is going at a constant velocity, so therefore as time moves forward, his velocity stays the same. So it's just a straight horizontal line. Ashan, on the other hand, well, Ashan is speeding up as he goes, starts off very slow, maybe at zero, and then goes higher. Well, here we can see that, well, let me state a fact first. The area, the area under the curve, so the area under curve, of, of velocity, time graph, 
is equal to the displacement. And since they end at the same point, the displacement of a Sean has to equal the displacement of Zion. So all we have to do is look at the area. And for a Sean, the area is this much. So I'll draw this straight down. So this is the area for a Sean. And then the green, well, that's the area for Zion. Well, one can see that down here, say at this midpoint, and the midpoint would be, I guess, uh, 0.15 seconds. At the midpoint, Zion has more area than a Sean, and therefore he's gone farther. Well, this missing area here that Ashan's missing has to be made up for here because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they have the same displacement. So since Ashan needs area here equal to this area here, we know that this being the halfway point of 0.15, we know that at 0.2, Ashan is going faster than Zion.